Okay, boys and girls, today, this week's story is called Great Ideas from Great Parents. This is an editorial. It is a, um, a short read and it's persuasive. The author is reading to a certain group of people and they would like to convince that group of people to do a certain thing. So this is the editorial, Great Ideas from Great Parents. Washington Elementary needs a greenhouse. It's easy to think of ways to spend our school budget, new supplies, new sports equipment, a bigger gym. All these would be great. However, one project should take priority, a school greenhouse. I imagine many of you are saying a greenhouse instead of a new gym. Is she serious? As a farmer, I admit, I have my own unique take on this issue. If you ask me, more plants are always a good thing, but I'm also a parent. And I've seen firsthand how growing plants helps kids grow too. First, agriculture is a fantastic way to learn about science. When kids garden, they learn how sunlight, nutrients, and water help plants grow. They learn how seeds store energy. They learn how plants fight back against pests. A greenhouse is a giant hands-on science experiment. Our children can learn by doing and observing. Science teachers can connect this hands-on learning to their school, to their classroom curriculum. Let's answer some questions. What purpose did the author write this letter or this editorial? Well, this author is trying to persuade. So to persuade the reader to build a school greenhouse. That's the purpose of this um, editorial. Let's look at the word agriculture, the vocabulary word ag agriculture. Agriculture is the practice of farming, producing crops and raising animals. A tractor is used in agriculture to pu pull machinery that plows and plants crops. There's a second great reason to build a school, a school greenhouse, food. Teachers and kids can grow delicious vegetables. What a great way to add good nutrition to our children's diet. I guarantee kids are more likely to eat vegetables they reap themselves. After carefully tilling soil, planting seeds and watering sprouts. My son even agreed to give eggplant a try after he helped me grow it on our farm last summer. Did he like it? No, but he learned a lot. I'm aware our school already has a small vegetable garden, but given our climate, crops can only grow a few um, for a few months because the greenhouse has a controlled climate. Kids can garden all year long. In addition, planting in both the green, the garden and the greenhouse offer kids valuable opportunities to compare and contrast conditions. That will take little farmers, that will make little farmers of them all. Let's look at some more questions. What reasons did the author give to support her claim? Well, if you noticed in paragraph three and paragraph four, the author said that Growing plants in, the, in a greenhouse is a great way for students to learn science and also add nutrition to students' diets all year long. What about those vocabulary words? The word nutrition means, nutrition is the process of eating the right food kinds of foods to be healthy. I want to learn about good nutrition so that I will know which foods can help me, can help, can keep me healthy. All right, we're gonna finish this up. Our children can reap many rewards from a greenhouse. 
I hope I've succeeded in planting that idea in your head. So if so, please cast your vote for a new greenhouse at our next school budget meeting. Sincerely, Margarita Flores, parent. All right, guys. So that's our weekly story. And all of these questions we um, looked at, the vocabulary and the two questions will be on your test today. You'll have, um, you'll have a test over this story. You can listen to it again on the Google form. And then there are some um, author's purpose questions on there as well. So let's look at our assignments for today. Our reading, our spelling activity it is our challenge words. You need to rewrite these words. Remember, all of these words are a, a soft C and a soft G. Right here on the hidden words, you're gonna find that hidden um, vocabulary word. This says intelligence. So find that word in the word, scrum, word scramble. Our clue words, which challenge words, mat, um, words match? So the word rubbish. Well, I know that rubbish means trash, but that's not one of our challenge words. So I'm going to look for another word that goes with trash. Oh, garbage. So that would go there. Then we're going to complete the sentence. Let's look at this sentence. A blank begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. Hmm, a, begins with a, a sentence. Of course, that's the word sentence. All righty, scholars. Make sure you go to Google Classroom. This week is 3.4. That's um, the third nine weeks, week four. Find that and go to the school day page. This is your assignments for today. So you've got Reading Express and that's your spelling test. So do your spelling test on Reading Express and then complete your great ideas from Great Parents Quiz right there. Make sure you read on Myon and take an AR quiz to get those AR points. And don't forget to do your spelling and send a picture to Miss Willis. Right here, scholars, very important. You need to complete this survey. So please click here to complete the technology survey. Um, and you can do that after you finish your um, assignments. All right. Well, that is all that I have for you today. I hope you have an amazing Thursday and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.